the home of golf has seen many greats tread its fairways, but in mid-September it hosted the largest golf event of its kind in the world. 33,000 women begin the journey to the final of the Peugeot Coronation foursomes. Over the summer, the event, open to all handicapped golfers, narrows its field down to the final 32. It's a chance for the everyday golfer to have their five minutes of fame. Just unbelievable, basically. I mean, to be to stay in the old um, course hotel, uh, the LG used to do all this, and to Peugeot sponsor it, I mean, it's just fantastic. Very excited. It's like just an opportunity that, well, you don't, you don't think it's going to happen, but it, it just did. That's it. Everybody's jealous at the golf club, so we've got loads of people wanting to caddy for us and everything, so it's just fabulous, it really is. We knew nothing about the final, we didn't know it was a big event like this, we had no idea. So we are just overwhelmed, it's a wow factor. For any golfer to get the opportunity to look out their bedroom window and see the 18th hole and that famous bench and imagine Arnold Palmer and all crossing, sure it's a treat. Amazing. <laughs> Just being here is fantastic, but being able to play is amazing. Yeah, I can't wait. Starting off the tee off time, uh, you're across the evening, of course, at the Club Paris Theatre. And then what? Lions and our next trip is all camps. After the evening introductions and official function, it's down to business. Players from all parts of Great Britain and Ireland with handicaps ranging from 2 to 35 were greeted by typical Lynx weather. Not only are the golfers playing for the title, but also the opportunity to mix it with the pros at the Rico Women's British Open Pro-Am at Royal Birkdale in July 2014. The standard of golf was the highest seen for several years in a very tight contest. Golf Club pairing of Joanne Crosswell and Maureen Duckett finished with 32 points, which included a net hole in one at the par 3 8. We talk about getting off to a fast start on one day events. That's exactly what Lima Townsend and Sam Collard of Overstone Park did. A beautiful second shot from Townsend in the first set up a birdie opportunity for Collard. She duly obliged for a net evil on their way to 32 points. Kathy Bennett got her and partner Jan Cherry from the Grimsdyke Golf Club near Harrow off to a good start with a birdie at the first. At the par 3 fifth, Cherry, playing off 27, seemed to have local knowledge. Rack him up and I'll knock him in. Annette Eagle hole in one on the way to 33 points and outright second place. But the day we belong to the Yorkshire pair of Mary Sholley and Kate Helm from the Meltham Golf Club. The 30 and 27 handicappers, respectfully, coped the best in the blustery conditions on their way to 40 points. It included four net eagles, of which two were net aces. The event shows that golf isn't just about the professional game. Up and down the country over the summer, 33,000 ladies have vied to pick up this prestigious title. But for all the competitors, the experience of playing at the home of golf will be a memory to last a lifetime. Congratulations to the 2013 champions, Mary Sholley and Kate Hill. It has been superb. I've so enjoyed it. And talking to the other participants, they everybody have the same opinion. That, yeah. uh, the Ladies Golf Union and Peugeot have been fantastic yeah. and provided us with the most splendid <laughs> weekend. Never, <laughs> <laughs> never to be forgotten. <laughs> Dinner provided the competitors the opportunity to reflect on what was a wonderful day. It was quite overwhelming. We, we, I don't, really don't know what to say. It's wonderful. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Really, really, really good. Lovely place, lovely experience, yeah.
really chuffed to be here. I'm just a beginner golfer as well, so it's certainly a privilege for me, yeah. It's amazing just to get to here, um, so anything today was a bonus, really, but yeah, it's such an honour to, to get down to the last 32. We've been spoiled in every direction, and the experience of playing the course and being part of this event has been just something you well, we've just dreamed to do. We've just been treated like the champions. It's been wonderful. North Wales and the Clan Dunmore Golf Club would host the final event of the 2013.